Well, I want artifacts of Mars. And in New Mexico's with Chugayola Cave, which is part of Carlsbad Canyons and deepest cave in the U.S., they found what they're calling a super bug. They actually call it a hero bug, but uh, this thing is apparently resistant to 70% of natural antibiotics. Now, that's not supposed to happen, you wouldn't think. Um, it comes from way deep underground. It says it has chemical sparks and ability to break down, make, break down, or gobble whatever compounds it wants, even when, even if it's never been exposed to it before. Now that's very interesting. Bug that knows how to uh, change like that, and yet it's been hidden underground for all these years. Scientists have found a superbug hiding 1,000 feet underground in a cave, which is resistant to 70% of antibiotics and totally inactivate many of them. Here's the kicker. This bacterium has been isolated from people, society, and drugs for 4 million years, scientists report Thursday in the journal Nature Communications. That means it hasn't been exposed to humans in a clinic or on a farm that uses them, but it has a machinery to knock out these drugs, and that machinery has been around for millions of years. Yeah, because somebody programmed it into it. People are like, oh no, it's a superbug. Said Hazel Barton, a microbiologist at the University of Akron who helped find the bacteria, but I prefer to call it a hero bug. Because Barton said the bacterium is helping scientists understand where antibiotic resistance comes from and hopefully a new ways to stop it. And the bacterium called uh, Penny Bacillus isn't pathogenic, it won't hurt you, it's just capable of evading many, many antibiotics. Right, I'm sure you uh, worked with it without protective gear. I'm not buying that. Barton and his co her colleagues found the ancient superhero bug inside of the Lechuca Gila Cave in New Mexico. It's the deepest limestone cave in the continental United States, 1,632 feet at its lowest point. It's one of the most inhospitable places on Earth. The cave never sees the sun. It takes about 10,000 years for water from the surface to get into the cave. So how on Earth did this underground bacteria become resistant to human antibiotics? Don't bacteria develop resistance after being exposed to the drugs in people and animal, animals? That's kind of the old model, Barton said. When we originally went into the cave in 2012, we found that the microbes there were resistant to every natural antibiotic we use in hospitals. It changed our understanding because it means antibiotic resistance didn't evolve in the clinic through our use, the resistance is hardwired, she says. I'm going to break this down. You ever wondered how all these beasties got on this planet? I mean, bacteria. You say they evolved? Why didn't they evolve in something more complex? Why do they stay these little tiny beasties? Now could uh, something like smallpox evolve without humans to be there? For it to evolve onto. See what I'm saying? So, I have this hypothesis that these things existed, uh, were 
actually created as weapons of war a long time ago, and their descendants are still here on Earth, making us miserable, making us sick. That's my own hypothesis. At any rate, I sure hope they uh, are uh, have high level containment on these this thing. And frankly, I'm not reassured by the fact they're saying that it's harmless. That's BS. Because uh, humans haven't been in contact with it for four million years. Yeah, you remember uh, the Indians and smallpox and such? Uh, I think these people are a bit on the nuts side. That's why this is a mad science update. They're nuts to bring it up. They're nuts to sitting there and just automatically saying it's harmless. How the hell do you know? Has anybody been infected with it? I'm a little leery about this. Not happy at all with these people. I'm artifacts of Mars.